Hey everyone. Welcome back to the channel, Learn with Shiv. If you're in class 12 or preparing for NEET, today's video is super important. We're diving into one of the most scoring and fascinating chapters in biology, human reproduction. This chapter is all about understanding how humans reproduce, from the formation of gametes to the development of a baby. Here's a quick overview of what we'll cover. Male and female reproductive systems gametogenesis menstrual cycle fertilization pregnancy and embryonic development parturition and lactation let's get started. Male reproductive system, the male reproductive system includes testes, where sperm is produced epididymis, where sperm matures vas deferens, transports sperm seminal vesicles, prostate and bulbarethral glands, produce seminal fluid penis, the organ for sperm transfer. Together, these organs produce and deliver sperm efficiently. Female reproductive system. The female reproductive system includes ovaries, produce eggs and hormones fallopian tubes, where fertilization happens uterus, where the embryo implants and grows cervix and vagina, the birth canal and passageway for sperm. Ovaries release one egg each month during a woman's reproductive cycle. Gametogenesis. Gametogenesis is the process of forming gametes, sperm in males and ova in females. In males, it's called spermatogenesis, begins at puberty and continues throughout life. In females, it's called oogenesis, begins before birth, pauses, and continues from puberty to menopause. Important point. Each process involves meiosis and results in haploid gametes. Menstrual cycle. The menstrual cycle is around 28 days long and includes menstrual phase, day 1-5, Shedding of uterine lining follicular phase, day 613, egg matures ovulation, day 14, egg is released luteal phase, day 1528, uterus prepares for pregnancy. If no fertilization, the cycle restarts. Fertilization and implantation. When sperm meets egg in the fallopian tube, fertilization occurs, forming a zygote. The zygote travels to the uterus and implants into the endometrium. This marks the start of pregnancy. Embryonic development. After implantation, the embryo develops through various stages. Blastocyst gastroorganogenesis, formation of organs. The placenta forms and supports the baby by exchanging nutrients, gases, and waste. Parturition and lactation. Parturition is the scientific term for childbirth. It's triggered by hormones like oxytocin. After birth, lactation starts, the production of milk by mammary glands, stimulated by prolactin and oxytocin. Memo quick recap checkmark male and female reproductive system checkmark gametogenesis checkmark menstrual cycle checkmark fertilization checkmark pregnancy and embryonic development checkmark childbirth and lactation. And that's your complete summary of human reproduction. Don't forget, this is a high weightage chapter, especially for neat, Bullseye final tips to make diagrams your best friend focus on hormone names and their functions to practice cycle charts. If you found this helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and drop a comment if you have doubts. I'll be replying to them all, and don't forget to check the pinned comment for downloadable notes. Thumbs up like, speech balloon comment, bell 